G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, my friend Ross dislocated his shoulder out in the middle of a single trail. This is just a short video on how we managed to get his shoulder back relocated to get him back out of the single trail and back to the car to get proper medical attention. This is just a video on what we did to help Ross get out of the bush and seek professional medical attention. Always wait for a medic or a professional medical person to help your friends. This is only an emergency situation. And this is what we did. Is it dislocated, Ross? Yeah. I've had I've had about 20. Oh. I've had a fucking corker and I reckon it is. I reckon he's popped it out of his shoulder. Not this one out. Is, you reckon you'll be able to get this off so we can look? Because if I can see an indentation here, I can tell you now it'll be dislocated. He's falling off hard. Did you hit the tree? Both trees. Both trees. I hit the, that thing, right one where that KDM is. I yeah. hit this one right here and then went over. And then landed in the fucking rock. Can you can unzip it? Yeah, you yeah, can I'm unzip it. Just yeah. take your time, mate. We're not going to rush to get it off. Yeah, they don't come like that. Yeah. 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 And then this arm comes out first. It's it? definitely dislocated. All right, champ, do you want me to try and get this back in? <laughs> it's not fun, yeah, no, that but it's better than that. I can't hear the probably faint. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> do you want to take that body armor off on that side and then try and just slide it slowly off? I've done it before with dislocated arm. I've got my body armor off. So there's another way of doing it. You lie on your stomach. Yeah, so there you go, look. And you weight this arm down, which is broken And then pull arm, it back a bit. And then it'll suck it in itself. I mean, I'm worried about standing up, that's a problem. Like, even if, if when I sat up here, I feel something to pass out. When I was yeah. laying down, I was fine. You'll be right once you get your bloody your yeah. bearings, because I almost passed out when I did it, then I almost threw up. That's clear. It's freaking painful, man. I know what you're, yeah. where you're going. I've done about 20 of them on both shoulders and had surgery on one. Oh man, it's freaking once they come out, once they come out, it's so easy. Bang, bang, bang. You point to the sky and an aeroplane, the freaking arm will come out. Hey. The guy here with the sunglasses on his head and the UFO gear, he was fantastic through this process. He was really great. You're definitely moving better. I feel great, yeah. <laughs> We first tried to lay Ross just over his dirt bike and see if that would give enough to, for the arm to pop in, but we soon realised we'd be better off to use a nearby log and lay him on the log. But just check out the exhaust on Ross's bike. He also didn't dislocate his shoulder, he destroyed his exhaust pipe. Does that feel alright Ross? Yep. Just keep relaxing, man. I think that'll be the secret, isn't it? Yeah. Don't resist nothing. Yep. Definitely relax. Um, let's Do you find want me to rub something for Let's you? find another sort of rock that size, and we'll put it just on this side after about another couple of minutes. We'll... So this is sort of a slow procedure type thing. Yeah. Here. I reckon it might be a good idea to do what he. First aid course, I think. <laughs> I, I have done a first aid have course. You? Yeah. Can you tell us what to do? It doesn't no. actually involve shoulders. No, that's that's that. that for CPR. You yeah, might have to do one that involves shoulders and broken both. bones, I think. First point is don't come off your bike. Yeah, that's it. Taking a hold? No, I'm slipping out. Yeah, it's okay. Don't you worry about it. Just, you just let, it... let it slip. It's okay. It won't slip too much. Oh, do you mind just go then? Not yet. Oh, I felt it move then. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually seen it move. Yeah, yeah, it did move a little. Just, Just stay loose, Ross. Stay Just loose. Relax. Relax. We'll have half a Belangolo State Forest strap to your arm soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out, man. Yeah. Don't, don't invite yeah. Ivan. I can, oh, I, 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 mean, can, I can see it moving. Stretch your fingers out, you'll feel a backpacker's fingers underneath you. It's oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can touch my leg coming out. <laughs> I'm Ivan, I'm Ivan. <laughs> just, 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 just grab his balls, relax him a bit more, he needs to be super relaxed. I've said that before, it's great when you've got a heap of fucking comedians around yeah. you're in pain. Mm. <laughs> okay, you'll see on Ross's shoulder, um, it's not full like this because the arm has come out and, and it's gone underneath here like this. So there's an indentation you'll see about here somewhere, it's like a 
an indentation in the shoulder which indicates that their shoulder, the arm is out of the socket and underneath. Now as the weight of the rocks weighs it down, it pulls on the arm but he has to fully relax and it comes down, you'll see, see it come down and then all of a sudden this shoulder will work, become full again like this one here. Let's just take a second look as we add the second rock to Ross's arm and you'll see the indentation in his arm slowly disappear as the weight of the rocks pulls his arm back into alignment. Is it in, Ross? Uh, yeah, that's in, for that's sure. In. You reckon? Yep. If you can stand like that. In. That's in, Ross. Look at it. It's yeah. in. That's yep. in. Yep. Beautiful. Well done. We fixed well done, you. Mate. Hang on. It, it now still, cut his arm off. It, it, it is still sore. Still going on. You're going to have to go yeah. to hospital yeah. and get an x ray. Just in case you do it again. It'll still be sore. <laughs> you want it? It's going to be sore for a month, man. You've done a lot of damage to your tendons. It's all right. I won't cut your eyelashes. Do you want to keep them rocks? Hey, watch your hairs, man. Uh, <laughs> do you want to keep those rocks? Yeah, I might actually. Well, now I'm going to take you them. put them up in your bloody your pool room. <laughs> Ross's shoulder off. To... Yeah, it's still a bit sore. Yeah, no, yeah it will be. be. Sore, it's going to be sore, but it's can, in. You, you can, can tell it's in. If it's you can move your arm, it's you in. Stand up straight. Yeah. It's yeah. in, Ross. Yeah, Look at it. It's the same. Good job. Good job. Still sore, but no, it's, it's in. It's in. Pain, that's what he said. I'm glad I learned right that away. trick. Yeah, that's no, a good one. It's a great day out. I just, yeah. I just wanted to go that. No, no don't. Unfortunately, I've suffered several dislocated shoulders in my life. This right shoulder of mine came out about a year and a half ago, but I've managed to keep it pretty good and it hasn't dislocated again since, even though I've had multiple crashes and different things on my bike so far. I also use a shoulder brace to help with supporting the shoulder and uh, keeping it into alignment whilst I'm riding the bike but mainly the shoulder exercises that you get to do once you see a physio and that they, they really help and they're probably the most important thing to do with your shoulder to keep it strong and, and tight because that's the problem is they become loose so you have to if you've got shoulders that dislocate you've got to keep them really tight and that's the best thing that you can do is the exercises. Hey. Watch this video next or go to the Broken Sprocket video library and choose another top video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. After all, it's for free and guaranteed to make your day 20% better. If you're already a subscriber and you're having a bad day, just think it could have been 20% worse. You can also follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram. So, I'll see you in the next video.